Arsenal are title favourites. Brighton nil, Arsenal three. Comprehensive, convincing, complete performance. Based upon what I have witnessed, based upon what I have watched, Arsenal are now title favourites. They go back to the top of the league. Defence wins titles. We all know this. And this Arsenal team don't concede. They do not give you a sniff. Unless you're a crackhead, you won't get a sniff. What a performance. What a performance. It, it pains me that I've come to sit in this chair and say these things. But I cannot be blinded any further, any longer. The glasses are on, guys. What a team. Unfortunately, they've unlocked Kai Havertz. Man of the match makes me ill. Kingdom Kai. Keys to the bimmer. Keys to the kingdom. A goal, an assist, whatever you want, whatever you like. Trossard coming on off the bench, making an impact, getting a goal, contributing. The defence, impenetrable. Again, how many more clean sheets? And, and this wasn't even really, again, Arsenal at their brilliant best. They were just gliding, glistening, grooving through the game, just as they did against Luton. They didn't really even try in the second half. It was basically a training exercise against Luton. And in this game, they were just going through the gears, going through the motions. They could have been better. I've seen them be better against West Ham away, 6 nils, But they didn't have to be. That's the concern. That's the problem. That's why they're title favourites. They have to be. They play the best football in the league. They defend the best. They have the depth with the players coming back from injury. They have the players coming back from injury in party. They have the players stepping in like Tommy Asu coming on for Zinchenko to shore up the, the defence, to tighten that defence, to make it impenetrable, untouchable. This is what they're on. They are doing the dark arts too, not just the beautiful, pretty shit. They're doing the dark arts. They're bumping chests when they make those last ditch tackles to keep clean sheets. They have that mental mogul mentality about them. Bring back Senderos. Bring back Squalachi. Bring back Chambers. Bring back Holden. Bring back Bellerin. Bring these men back. Because who are these real men? As Fuad would say, who are these real men at centre-back? Standing firm, standing tall. It's ridiculous. They have to be title favourites. They get goals. They put their pens away like Saka. They keep the ball. They can defend for, for, for large parts if they have to, like they did at the Etihad. They can keep clean sheets. And they're physically, they're, they're physically imposing themselves on teams. Declan Rice today, in, just another fantastic performance. What more can I say? I'm bewildered. I'm baffled. Discombobulated. They're getting the best out of Kai Havertz. With Jorginho. Two former Chelsea players are in that team pulling strings. What? Brighton today... Individual error. Let's talk about the game a bit. Individual error from Tarek Lamptey to give Saka the opportunity from the penalty spot. Up until that point, Brighton were actually defending pretty decent. I don't know what's going on with Lewis Dunk since he got that call up. He's, he's defending like Lewis Capaldi. That's what I said. I don't know what he's on. He's not moving. He's not moving the right way. Something needs to be sorted in that regard. But Tarek Lamptey picked up a little knock. He decided to come back on. And then he gave away the penalty. Clumsy. It's, it is a penalty. You gave it away. You were rashing your challenge. I don't know if you got a 5, 4, 3% of the ball, but it's not good enough. And then we move over to time to make changes now. You're 1-0 down. You have been clinging on towards the end of that half. You haven't been playing at your brilliant best. Danny Welbeck's barely got himself into the game. Barella in midfield, right? He weren't playing like Barella. He ain't, he ain't no Barella. Bring in Barella from Inter Milan. Who's this brother? He was just giving the ball away. Anytime there was a transition or an opportunity to ping a pass, he's overhitting them, underhitting them, undercooking them, overcooking them. Brother couldn't, couldn't fry an egg. Get that man out of that midfield. Deserby, the little criminal. 
Five foot nine little criminal. You had an opportunity at half time. I said it on the tactics board. I said it at half time. You had the opportunity to change that game. You had an opportunity to put your foot down on that team and say no more. No more. He went stomping off down at half time in a huff and puff. I thought he was going to actually blow the house down. This fucking guy comes back out, the fraud, and makes zero changes. He leaves Welbeck on there. He doesn't bring on Pedro to link up the play, to give Saliba and, and, and Gabriel something different to think about. He doesn't look to Fatty. He doesn't bring on anybody to change this game. Pascal Gross, maybe drop him back into midfield. Get, get the turnover machine out of there. Not interested. Just leaves it, leaves it to, 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 to be exactly the same. So, of course... Of course Arsenal get the second goal. And then he wants to make changes. Too late. Too little too late. Kai Havertz, tap in. 2-0 Arsenal. Game dead. Dead, dead, dead. Finished. Finito. It's a Fugazi, it's a Wazi, it's a Woozy, it's a Hazi. I don't, even, I don't even think I even said that correctly. My head is so hot. I'm so sick of seeing nonsensical behaviour from teams opposing who are not at least going for it. Like, really go for it. Really push. Really charge. Grab their necks, grab them by the throat, suffocate them, really push. So many times they played the ball through in these in these half spaces. They're just not playing the right pass, not making the right decision. Just toothless, toothless, tone deaf, lack of awareness, stupidity. And then it's the third, uh, late on in the game, Arsenal are cruising. It's, it's a walk in the park. Oh, Brighton had the options on the bench to do something, but he just took so long. Took too much time. He thought he had all the time in the world. You don't. You do not. And then Havertz gets an assist. Trossard loop, lobs the keeper against his old club. It's rap. It's raps. And I, like I said, Arsenal, they're the favourites now. Pressure on them. P applying all the pressure on Arsenal now. I'm afraid. You've been there before last season. You know what it's like in the title running. You know what it's like to go on a long, long run of wins. I think, what is it now? Nine, 10 wins out of your last 11? You know what it's like to, 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 to have play, key players coming back in because you, you have them coming in now. You know what it's like to defend. You know what it's like to attack. You can control games. You can blitz teams. You can, you can do the dark arts. You can defend if you must. You can attack if you must. What, what can you not do? So you are favourites because there is no team in this league playing better than you. We saw it from Man City last week. We saw it from Liverpool many times. You guys, best team in the league. So you, so you must. So you must. I'm putting that on you. Politely putting it on you. You are favourites. You're leading the league. I can't see it any other way. It's no shamelessness on my part. No, no other agendas. Today I give up. It's your title to lose. It's done. Finished. From the moment you start unlocking Kingdom Kai, keys to the BIM or keys to the kingdom, it's wraps. And it is wraps. You are going to win it. Favourites. Brighton nil, Arsenal free. Ugh. Guys, what can I say? I give up. It's not a matter of if now, it's a matter of when. For this Arsenal team. This season. The league. Unfortunately. The chemistry. The, the cohesion. The interlinking play. The, the back and forth. The cutbacks. The tappings. The defending. The bumping of the chests. The real men. Real life attitude. The options off the bench. It's all too much guys. It's all too much. Smash up the likes. Make sure you subscribe. I'm done. I give up. In a bit people. Peace.